Welcome, everyone, to the general gaming channel known as M12 Warthog Game. Hey guys, M12 Warthog Game here. I am back with another video, and today I'm doing another Redstone video. What you see here is something I've probably shown before. That is an AND gate. It requires an Two inputs. Pretty much requires one input, one input, and another. Uh, I think that's why they call it that. But I, you see, I need to flip both of these levers to activate this light. Now, I want to talk to you about something I pretty much made, but before I go and show you that, I want to show you that it's very similar to this, which is something I did in a previous video, which I will link in the description below. Which this is two combination locks linked together to open up that door. Now I did it to where not only that, but um, I made those two combination locks on the receiving end of one AND gate. So it had multiple AND gates, but um, I never really went over. I, I just pretty much showcased it, but I never really went over what it does. But this. It's something cool that I thought I want to show you. Sort of looks like a bracket for like when you see in the newspapers from for like basketball and you know like fill out this bracket for whatever reason. I don't know why they do that. I'm not really into sports and all that stuff. But as you can see, this 5x5 five five area of lights will not be lit up unless all eight of these levers are flipped. But it will not work if one of them is not flipped, which is kind of the point here. You can link multiple things. You can link multiple inputs to one output and not have it go off until all of the inputs are turned on to go to this output, which would be this light. Now, the how I made this is, well, one, you don't want the redstone here. Because then you could only have half of them turned on. But how I made this is very simple. And I want to go over that with you. Now the way it's made is you really just need three blocks. Some redstone. And a redstone torch. You'll need three redstone torches. Two, about five pieces of redstone and maybe two levers. Or this, or these levers could be replaced by something else that is a power source. Whether it be a block with a button on it, whether it be a pressure plate, or a block with a pressure plate on it, or many other things, redstone block, whatever you want it to be. Now, when those two are activated, it will bring an output here. Like I've shown before in another video. But, if I want this to have more than one output, that's sort of easy. All you just need to do is make another one. Put it here. Uh, put that there. Fill that in because I may need to go over that block. Uh, I guess not. And then you put this here. And what you want to do is go like this. Make sure this does not touch this. That's the only thing that you have to worry about is that not, those two not touching each other. Now you can put that there with the torches. As you can see, one's lit because that side's powered, that one's not. Do this. Of course, I forgot to put down the torch. Down redstone so that it's linked. And then it will activate light. Now, that means from the looks of it so far, what I've shown you is that this thing can only have a 
even number of inputs in order to activate the output. But in this case, I'm going to show you that that's not the case, because in my design, that's somewhere over there. I don't want to fly all the way over to it, but somewhere in the direction I'm looking, I used that. I told you about the video that I already made about the combination lock. Well, I'm going to show you that um, for the combination lock, I only needed, you only need three inputs for it. You need an enter button. Which is like right next to the door, like you want to hit enter, like I want to input the code that I already have. But you need the two codes, the two codes from the two combination locks. So if you have those, then that's three. But how do you get three? On in, on in, when you're linking AND gates that only accept two inputs. Well, here's the trick. And what I'm going to show you is that I'm going to make another AND gate. It requires two AND gates, but there's only going to be a total of only three inputs. As I go here, put this down, and now, once you build an AND gate like before, these two are inputs, and this is an input. This is not an input because it's technically the output of this AND gate, which acts as an input for this one, but really, you only need to activate three things to get this light to go off, technically. As you can see here, if I were to get rid of this, I can have something similar, but I really only have three inputs required to turn on just that one light. As you can see over there. Now for me, I would probably, if this, if I was building something like this, in survival, I'd probably put in another repeater here to make sure the signal reaches, but it does without it. And then you get the light on. Now, of course... What you can do is sort of like make make two of these so that you only have six inputs instead of having only limited to four or eight. Because you can do... <clears throat> you can have odd numbers of inputs. For an example, which I'll now go over. My double combination lock that auto resets. Right here's the AND gate where these two combination locks output. My friend G Money's here just playing around with this. I let him in here, as you can see. He's dressed up as some sort of Ender guy. Doesn't know what that is yet, but I'll go into game chat and explain that to him. Now, as you can see here, all of this will automatically output to this door. Now, the third input is like you want to hit the enter button on like a keypad. That will only temporarily even code put in here. Although I could add more repeaters to do the same thing. So forth so that it so that this side stays lit for longer. But because of security and that you only need to enter in activate the you only need to activate them from right to left which <laughs> That's kind of, I'm, I, it's kind of funny, he's trying to play around with this, but doesn't know what's happening. But, um, these will reset after a while. But, um, he changed, yeah, but what he did is he, um, changed one of the most important things is that you need to have those like that. I think he was just trying to play around with this. Anyway, if I get rid of these, I'll show you how it works. Well, if he puts that there and constantly powers that, it will not reset. But, um, yeah, as you can see, 
this thing will start to flow through. And when it reaches this... It auto-resets, but I think he, um... Did something like this. But, uh... I don't mind him doing this, but, uh... Yeah, you see? Now this can auto-reset... At a constant interval so that people don't do it. Which, this main component here... Is pretty much just a clock that feeds into these two things to reset it. You could feed that in to something else to reset the inputs that are being reset. The reset what's powering the inputs into an AND gate. See, this combination lock is is producing a power stream which will go into the input of one of these AND gates. Now you can have a clock reset that, and that's what I wanted to talk about. Anyway, guys, I will... I'm gonna have to end this redstone video here. Hope it was informative. Hope it helped. Let me know if it helped in the comment section down below. If you have any redstone questions concerning stuff in this video or in any of my other videos, feel free to leave them in the comment section on my, um redstone videos and I will get to answer them if possible also on screen is my gamer tag for Xbox 360 if you happen to um want to send me questions over Xbox live I do not accept uh, friend requests from strangers but I'm more than well you're more than welcome to send me questions and I'll do my best to answer all of them regarding my channel or whatever it is or whether it's redstone thing or even ask me to hop in your world if you want to some advice on redstone or stuff. I mean, I don't mind doing it. I mean, I have some quite a lot of free time, but um, I'm gonna have to end this video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed.